In this lecture, we'll talk about managing cash accounts. Managing short-term assets and liabilities involves managing all of the current assets and the liabilities on the balance sheet. Current assets are short-term resources such as cash investments, accounts receivable, and inventory. Current liabilities are short-term debts such as accounts payable, accrued salaries, accrued taxes, and short-term bank loans. We use the term current and short term interchangeably because short term assets and liabilities are usually replaced by new assets and liabilities within three or four months and always within a year. Managing short term assets and liabilities is sometimes called working capital management because short term assets and liabilities continually flow through the organization and are thus said to be working since they're flowing through. The chief goal of financial managers who focus on current assets and liabilities is to maximize the return to the business on its cash and its temporary investments of idle cash accounts receivable and inventory. Idle cash and corporate um, it does not make money if it's just sitting there and corporate checking accounts typically don't earn interest. As a result, astute money managers try to keep just enough cash on, ha just on hand, called transactional balances, to pay bills such as employee wages, suppliers, utilities, etc. as they fall due, and then put other assets into interest earning or, or, or some sorts of accounts that add a return to the business. To facilitate collection, some companies have customers send their payments to a lockbox, which is simply an address for receiving payments instead of sending it directly to the company's main address. The manager of the lockbox is usually a commercial bank. It collects the payments directly from the lockbox several times a day and deposits them directly into the company's bank accounts. As companies sell products, they generate cash on a daily basis, and sometimes cash comes in faster than it's needed to pay the bills. Organizations often invest this extra cash for periods of short, as short as one day overnight or for as long as a year until it is needed. Such temporary investments of cash are known as marketable securities. Examples include U.S. Treasury bills, certificates of deposits in banks, commercial paper, euro dollar deposits, uh, many companies invest idle cash in U.S. Treasury bills, which are short-term debt obligations of the United States government, which it's, it sells to raise money for its government budget. Issued weekly by the U.S. Treasury, T-bills carry maturities between one week and one year. U.S. T-bills are generally considered to be the safest of all investments and are called risk-free because the U.S. government will not default on its debt. Generally, the lowest interest is the risk-free rate, the lowest interest that anyone pays or receives. This uh, table summarizes a number of different types of marketable securities used by businesses, um, and it gives the maturity and the safety, etc. While all of the listed securities are very low risk, the U.S. government are the safest. Interest rates of all types of securities in this table have declined dramatically during the period from uh, June of 2006 to 2014. In fact, you may never see interest rates this low again during your lifetime. Here are some other ways to think about investing idle cash. There's certificates of deposits that are issued by Commercial banks and brokerage companies, they are able to, they're usually available with a minimum of say $100,000 and typically units uh, of up to a million dollars uh, for corporate investment. Uh, they put their cash in there to earn a little bit of return. They can be held or traded or sold for cash. One of the most pur pu popular short-term investments for larger business is called commercial paper. This is a written promise from one company to another to pay a specific amount of money. These are backed only by the reputation of the issuing companies and are bought and sold for durations as short as one business day. Some companies invest their idle cash in international markets, such as the euro dollar market, a market for trading U.S. dollars in foreign countries. Any dollar denominated deposit in a non-U.S. bank is called a euro dollar deposit. So U.S. dollars in another bank outside the U.S. is euro dollars. Regardless of whether that is issued 
by the whether or not the issuing bank is actually located in Europe. Investors have a chance to earn a slightly higher rate of return with just a little more risk than, than U.S. Treasury bills by using, for example, euro in the euro dollar market, investing in the euro dollar market. So to summarize, organizations can invest their idle cash in various kinds of securities. They're called marketable securities with the intent of rather than letting the cash sit there without any sort of return, maximizing your return by keeping your risk very low. U.S. Treasury bonds, commercial paper, euro dollar deposits, that sort of thing. You keep the minimum amount of cash to pay all your bills. Other cash you try to, quote, put to work, as the term is often called. Um, in the next lecture, we'll dive a little more deeply into current assets.